Hi there, I'm Valerie. Here is today's video and then I will be back with news on surprising 4th of July box office results. Okay, tell me something. Do you really like movies? I really, really like movies. When's the last time you went to see a movie in a theater? You know, a movie that you really thought meant something to you. I don't know, you know, I guess maybe it's just not my thing anymore. <laughs> I like making my own movies. What do you mean you make your own movies? I guess I'd like to keep some parts of my life private. Nobody has a private life anymore, Tara. All actors, probably. The Independence Day weekend is a great time to head out to a movie theater with the family. That's resulting in a record-breaking 4th of July box office. It's been particularly good news for Despicable Me 2, which has already earned more than 200 million worldwide. It's not such great news for The Long Ranger. The 250 million western was a massive disappointment. Starring Johnny Depp and Arnie Hammer, The Long Ranger managed just 29 million over the weekend. It seems that Johnny Depp as a Native American hero tone to justice isn't selling tickets. Now Disney has to hope Depp can carry a Western overseas where the genre isn't exactly known to do that well, outside of a couple of recent exceptions such as uh, True Great and Django Unchained. Does Depp have the same charm, however, as the Coen brothers and Quentin Tarantino? His Pirates films suggest he just might. At the moment, from 24 markets, the overseas total is 24 million. We'll see where it goes from there as plenty of big territories have yet to receive it. Let us know if you liked The Lone Ranger. That's all for today. Subscribe to Film is Now to keep updated on all the latest trailers and news from Hollywood. See you next time.